William Ralph Inge was an English author, Anglican priest, professor of divinity at Cambridge, and dean of St. Paul's Cathedral, which provided the appellation by which he was widely known, Dean Inge. He was a prolific author. In addition to scores of articles, lectures and sermons, he also wrote over 35 books. He was born on the 6th of June 1860 in Crake, Yorkshire. His father was William Minge, provost of Worcester College, Oxford, and his mother Susanna. Inge was educated at Eton College, where he was a King's Scholar and won the Newcastle Scholarship in 1879, and at King's College, Cambridge, where he won a number of prizes, as well as taking firsts in both parts of the classical tripos. He was ordained as a deacon in the Church of England from 1905 to 1907. He was nicknamed the Gloomy Dean because of his pessimistic views in his Romance Lecture of 1920. William Ralph Inge starts the essay with a proverb of Solomon. He says that we have no answer ready for the question. Who really the happiest people are? Dot he says that he can separate the years. When he was happy and those when he was unhappy. He contradicts the opinion that young people are happier than the old. Dot in his opinion young people are often very unhappy. Torn by conflicting elements in their characters. In his opinion marriage is the happiest state. He feels that the happiest people have no particular cause for being happy. Except the fact that they are so. He says he has noticed that the biographies to great men reveal that they were subject to frequent and severe depression. Dot he says that the Sermon on the Mount ranks worry as one of the deadly sins, so he prefers happiness to worry or depression. He opines that religion is a great source of happiness, because it gives us right standard of values. He feels that running away from life ought not to make people happy. In his view a life without affection and sympathy could give only a very negative kind of happiness. Since religion serves as a source of happiness but most of the adhere and revered saints complained about depression. As a matter of fact the practice of Seneca Tristita persecution are as old as our civilization. The revealances of history how people sacrificed their lives on matters of religion. Such an example of life of Sadhu Sunda Singh who followed multi-religions. And enormous amount of suffering finally. Complained of dissatisfaction dainty and dull sense. The life of Dictionary Johnson is more paradoxical to a modern reader. His disciple James Boswell asked him a question of rarity of what knowledge he keeps of Parliament and people in there. For this Johnson said these matters are less valued by him because he no needs to overturn his happiest mood into gloomy serious condition. In the days of the Commonwealth, Bulstrode Whitelock, ambassador to The Hague, was tossing about through the night in anxiety about the condition of his country, an old servant lying in the same room addressed him by saying whether he might ask him a question. The ambassador immediately agreed. The servant then asked the ambassador whether God governed the world. Well before the ambassador came into the world, the ambassador replied undoubtedly. Then the servant asked the ambassador whether he could not trust him to rule the world well while the ambassador was in the world. Then the ambassador turned on his side and fell asleep. This episode is relevant to Inge's essay as it is not in our hands to be happy or unhappy. It is the will of the God which makes us happy. The lesson that the author wishes to communicate through this story is that faith and trust in God can enhance one's state of happiness.